a completely new life. It's like the old person dies and you're brand new into something you don't even know what you're doing anymore. And, and people usually say like, oh, you're so brave or you're so strong, you did this, but it's like you have no other option unless you want to die, but I don't think anybody wants to die, so. I was initially diagnosed when I was about 17 years old. So I was about a junior in high school and that's when you're supposed to like be doing all the fun things, but instead uh, I was stuck in the hospital. And then we did um, some surgery to um, literally take out my entire jaw and replace it with my fibula. And you know, I went to the doctor, I went to the ER and you know, after nine hours of being there, um, they told me, you know, you probably have cancer. And uh, it was a pretty big shock to me. Um, I was trying to get sober at the time for the first time. Um, and you know, that that didn't play too good of a role in my sobriety. Uh, I had a run-in with septic shock. Ended up hitting my head, you know, in the bathroom, fell over, and got rushed to the hospital. And that's when we found out that I had septic shock. And it's funny because falling over and hitting my head, if that hadn't happened, I probably would have just died in my bed. My biggest fear coming into this adventure was probably getting on that boat. I didn't even know what the boat looked like, I didn't know anything, so I was expecting something like the Catalina Express where you're inside and you're just sitting there watching that kind of having an anxiety attack, <laughs> thinking you're gonna flip over, but that made it more exciting, I feel, and it was really cool. This is the first trip um, that I've ever been with people that have gone through what I've gone through so I'm already starting to feel a little bit of a connection with people and uh, you know it's really great because I already know that I'm going to keep in touch with everyone that I've met. Glad to be here. <laughs> Are you? Oh, yeah. I've had like four or five friends just this past year die from alcoholism. So it's pretty gnarly. You know, I used to drink for everything, you know, drink to celebrate, drink to be sad, drink to be happy. Just drank all the time. And then uh, it took me multiple, multiple rock bottoms to like finally reach out and say, you know, I need help. Like, my last rock bottom was terrible. But I ended up in Hogue, woke up four days later, don't remember a single day, and uh, that's when I broke my wrist. That was like a year and a half ago. I don't even know how I broke it. Yeah. Nope. And then I started doing chemo and then got sober again. Wasn't working a program again, and then same exact thing happened. Went out for four or five days, don't remember a single thing, woke up in Hogue again, and then uh, finally started working a program, and that's where I'm at now, so.